Video games. Can we talk about video games for a minute? Because I love video games, right? Like Overwatch, Watch Dogs 2, Watch Dogs, any game with watching in it, really. And you'll have to pry this phone from my cold, dead hands before I delete Flappy Bird, okay? Because I'm a bird watcher. But I've been seeing a lot of crap lately. Things that make me question, what is a game? Like I just downloaded a game on my iPhone, and its number one feature is that the game plays itself. What? Really? Now if only I could find a sandwich that eats itself too. That is one great Saturday. And all these games copy other crap games. Developers, I have a great idea. Don't make garbage. Just because there's one popular game where you tap Twinkies and it makes Twinkies, doesn't mean you should make a game to tap Ringdings. It's like they're vomiting pretty colors on the screen telling me to tap and calling it a game. That's not a game, okay? And yet it is. There's a whole genre of these ridiculous clicker games coming out, and no one is saying anything to stop them. Well, if the entire world is relying on one bald cartoon character to tell them their games are stupid, well, that's exactly what I have to do. They're stupid. And if you play them, you're stupid, and I play them, so I'm stupid, and this stupid stupid has to stop being stupid, you stupid. Maybe people just don't know how they get tricked into playing these games. Well, I'm gonna explain it to you right now. This is the Dum Dum's Guide to Not Playing Games that are not games. Thing number one, best fiends forever. Definitely the best example of everything I hate in a game. You literally just tap the screen endlessly and little animals get pissy until they disappear. How do they come up with this stuff? Did somebody go to an aquarium, tap on the glass and go, oh, this. This I could do forever. I hate this game because I play it. The only thing I like is that they're honest in their marketing. I mean, right on their website it says, Recommend it to someone you don't like. Well, it worked. Because I played your game, and now I don't like myself. I looked up the word game in the dictionary, and it said a form of play decided by skill, strength, or luck. This does none of those things. And yet people love it. It's got 4.5 stars in the app store. And yet it requires you to do nothing. Nothing! I actually read an official review that called it the most gripping game he's played all year. Will someone get this man a yo-yo? He needs a stimulant. Thing number two. Derpy, cutesy cartoon characters. I hate to harp on this game, but it's just doing everything that they all do. And in this game, they're bugs. What? Bugs? Since when are bugs cute? They're gross. Period. But there's so many bugs in this app, you'll need to get your phone fumigated. Y'all gotta think twice before you click on something just because it features some cute, adorable character. <laughs> By the way, thank you so much for subscribing and clicking like. But I mean, look at these. A gnat, a worm, a cockroach. These aren't adorable. Like, what's this? A labbit? Part bug, part farting rabbit? No thanks. It's like they think everyone's a sucker for any kind of anthropomorphic critter wearing goggles and a top hat. Well, guess what? It worked. I bought all the plushies. This would be a good time to point out the best fiends forever actually sponsored this video. Don't judge me. Thing number three. Look, I don't know why people use these things, all right? But I do know whether you're playing best fiends forever or any other clicker game. You can't call it gameplay when the game plays itself. I mean, I can click anywhere or not. It doesn't matter. I set the phone down and it plays itself. And they ask you to pay more money so it plays with itself for longer? Literally, since I started talking to you, I've earned 600 million coins and my phone's been in my pocket. Just do not download this game, okay? You'll ruin your life. You'll stop eating, lose your friends, your girlfriend will break up with you, your goldfish will die because you keep tapping on the glass. I wouldn't be surprised if the power went out and you're still sitting there playing the game. Not game. Game? I don't know. Can somebody tell me, is this a game? Yet for some reason, the past couple days, I keep not playing this not game. But how? How have I sunk so many hours into pointlessly slapping slugs? I'm not even a teenager anymore. But it keeps drawing me in with that warm, special, fuzzy feeling you get when you smell bacon. I can't believe I'm saying this, but this not game, game, tricked me into liking it. Thank you so much for watching, clicking like, and subscribe, and as a thank you to you guys for hitting half a mil, the iOS stickers are totally free until my birthday, February 1st. I am It's Alice Clark, and I will see you somewhere, okay? Bye!